This is why I'm an artist and not a singer. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is E and if you're new here, I make videos about art, literature and life in general. So Valentine's Day is around the corner and I thought what better way to celebrate love than to draw the greatest romance of all time. And no, I'm not talking about Taylor and Travis. Although I think they are a pretty cute couple. Um, I'm talking about Romeo and Juliet. Is it my most favorite love story of all time? Probably not because they both quite literally died young. And I don't know about you, but I'm not a fan of dying. But it is the most famous and enduring story of all time. Probably because they both died. Yeah. There have been different versions of Romeo and Juliet over time, but when I think about Romeo and Juliet, I think about Boss Lomans. Is it Lomans? Lomans? Yeah. Boss Lomans 1996 version featuring Leonardo DiCaprio and. Claire Danes, yeah. So there is this iconic scene from the movie where Romeo meets Juliet for the first time at a costume party. I studied it for a film class like 13 years ago. I'm talking about this one. Um, and oh my god, the first time I saw it, they were just so good looking. It just blew my mind. How can you have that much beauty in one scene? I just, it just blew my mind. So now whenever someone says Romeo and Juliet, I just think about Leonardo DiCaprio and Claire Danes. Is it a tragic love story? It is, but they were just so beautiful, I wanted to immortalize that moment. Let's start drawing. So I don't know about you, but I honestly don't think that we have had that many good western rom-coms in the past decade. The 90s and the 2000s had so many great rom-coms I'm talking about Notting Hill, Love Actually, Pretty Woman, Sleepless in Seattle, pretty much anything and everything with Julia Roberts and Meg Ryan. Oh my god, Meg Ryan was the ITGIRL of that era. Like She was the it girl. Okay, She was slaying. I would watch anything with her and, and what's that guy's name? I forgot his name, yeah. He was everybody's boyfriend. He was everybody's husband. But yeah, the 90s were so good. And then in 2000s, we had Princess Diaries, Legally Blonde, Mean Girls, Mamma Mia. What else do we have? <gasps> the Notebook. Oh my god, how can I forget The Notebook? Oh my god. Young Ryan Gosling and Rachel McAdams. I had a huge girl crush on Rachel McAdams after The Notebook, like, I wanted to be just like her. <laughs> you know that one line where he says, if you're a bird, I'm a bird. <coughs> so basically, 90s and 2000 rom-coms slayed. Like, they ate. They ate, they cleaned the plate, and left no crumbs. They were the bomb. Maybe I shouldn't say bomb, it's not. Yeah, they were the best. And then after that, things kind of went downhill. We had a handful of good ones in the 2000s. Um, I liked About Time. I liked Let Us Do Juliet, Crazy Stupid Love, and oh, was the proposal in 2000 or the 2010? Yeah, I don't know. I can't remember anymore. But I was obsessed with Let Us Do Juliet because I just love a good like travel romance movie and I'm a sucker for anything with Amanda Seyfried inside she's so pretty like those big green eyes oh my god god I think I've watched it like 12 times <laughs> since then we haven't had great ones I think I can't think of a single romance movie that I liked in the past five years although there were some really great Asian ones Maybe I should do a video on that another time. But other than that, Hollywood movies just stayed dry. They were so dry. 
try, try, try just like my love life. Anyway, these days the closest thing I have to romance is watching Taylor Swift fall in love with Travis Kelsey. But they were so cute on the football field. I love them. As a Swiftie, I'm I'm really happy for her. She just looks so happy and unbothered and moisturized. I love to see her in love. After all that she's been through, I think she deserves to be happy, you know? Also, she just announced her new album. Did you see it? Did you see it? It's currently Monday, 5th February, and Taylor just announced that she is releasing a new album. <laughs> I'm so excited for it. Sorry, that's my fangle moment. I can't wait. Please, YouTube algorithm, please let me meet fellow Swifties on YouTube. Do your thing, algorithm. Anyway, regardless of how I feel about Taylor, I think it's about time that we make rom-coms great again. I don't care if the plot is cheesy. I'm always a sucker for your classic, like city girl or boy lost your job, and then they go back to their hometown to live with their parents, and then and then they meet their high school crush, and then they fell in love, and the city person is like, I can't do this. I've got bigger dreams than this town. And then they leave, and then the other person will like chase them back down, and then confess their undying love, and they'll figure something out and live happily ever after. And honestly, I don't care if it's like straight or gay or queer or non-binary, as long as it's sweet and funny and well-produced, I'm in. Take my money, I will pay you. I will pay you 12 times. Maybe not 12 times because I st I'm, I'm just a broke artist and I'm, I still need to pay bills, but maybe I'll pay you like three times. I'll watch it. I'll, I promise I support you. Although, just, just please don't make it tragic. Please don't kill them off. I just want a good, happy ending. I just want a good, happily ever after. We all need this. The world is in a terrible state right now. We just want some fluffy romance to sweep us off our feet and, and let us live in delusion for like one and a half hours. Which is why I'm drawing this thing because they've just met. They don't know that they're gonna die. <laughs> it's okay. In this version, they don't die. In my version, they're gonna live happily ever after. They met, they fell in love, and the families were so touched by their love that they decided to forgive each other and then they live happily ever after. The end. The Lulu is the Sululu, everybody. I'm gonna end things here. If you've enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe and see you next week. Bye!